Hi, I'm a board certified allergist and I have shown you before how to use an EpiPen, but I'm going to show it to you again because it's worth repeating and compare it to an AviQ which works a little bit differently. And I'm going to share with you some exciting news about how we may not need stuff like this anymore. First, if you think you're having a severe allergic reaction, epinephrine is the treatment of choice, not Benadryl or other antihistamines because antihistamines do not reverse severe allergic reactions. Epinephrine auto-injector devices can go through most clothing except for very thick items such as snow pants. So when ready to use, you take this device, blue to the sky, and then orange to the outer thigh, right here. Push firmly, hold it for three seconds, then release and rub the leg for 10 seconds. That's a little bit different than the AviQ, which is a device that talks to you. This trainer contains no needle The or needle is here. Is the safety comes off this way. And again, outer thigh. Then push firmly until you hear a click and hiss sound. Two, one. Training complete. And that's it. The exciting news is that on May 11th, an FDA subcommittee is going to meet to discuss phase three clinical trial data on a new device called Nephi. As the name implies, this is a nasal spray that contains epinephrine. It's a two milligram dose for people 66 pounds and above, and that's equivalent to a 0.3 milligram dose of the adult EpiPen or AviQ. This device in clinical trials has shown to work just as fast, if not even a little bit faster than EpiPens, and even works if you have a stuffy nose. If this meeting goes well, which I expect it will, this device may be approved as early as the middle of this year. At the end of the summer, a phase three clinical trial is likely going to start for an epinephrine strip that goes underneath the tongue and dissolves very quickly. And if that goes well, that will likely get approved by 2025. I am hopeful that these alternative routes of epinephrine administration will help drive the cost of these things down because this is a life-saving medication and these things need to be a thing of the past.